All right, the next thing that we need to do is to, you know, change some of these menus. There's there's way too many menus here, and we don't need all of them. Now, let's go back to the Kickstarter site here. And if you notice, the Kickstarter site is very basic. If you look at the navigation, you don't have so much going on. And whenever you're creating a project, whenever you're creating a website, you want to make sure that you have uh, a site or sites that you want to model after. And these are sites that you know embody what you desire. So when you look at Kickstart, it's very basic. It has discover, start, sign up, and login at the very top. Of course, you have search here. But for the most part, you don't have a whole bunch of menus up there. So we need to change these menus so it has the same name: discover, start, sign up, and login. So to do that, you want to go to menus and click on the menu manager now just an overview the menu manager handles all the menus of your website so every time that you need to create a menu the menu manager is where you go so as you can see here we have way too many menus we don't need all of them right now so let's go here and we need to there's one or two things that you can do you can delete or you can disable when you delete a menu it goes into the trash bin it's still in the system but it's not accessible unless you go to that part of it the front end once you delete or disable any menus the front end will no longer be able to access nor see that menu so we are going to uh, delete all these menus here and recreate them okay so to do this you scroll down and where you see it says 20 right up here you want to click on that drop down and click on all this is going to show all the menu items that have been created and instead of going by manually you know checking one at a time you can just click here and it's going to automatically just highlight everything and then you want to uncheck the home and once you've unchecked the home everything else can be deleted okay so once you've checked the home you want to click on trash so this is going to put everything in the trash bin it's just like your regular laptop when you delete items from your computer it doesn't just go away completely it's deleted but you have to make sure that it's clear from uh, the computer all right, the reason why this did not delete everything is because if you notice here, you have this lock. And because of this lock, everything is still there. So what you want to do is you want to click on that lock. This is going to perform a process called check-in. And when check-in, what that does is it unlocks that particular item. So whenever you're, you're editing something and you notice that an item has the, the lock mark next to it, you want to click that check-in button and it's going to unlock it for you so scroll down now there are no there are no locks okay now let's try it again click and uncheck the home button and then click on trash and at this point it should have deleted everything alright there we go so let's go on the home page and refresh it when you refresh the home page you shouldn't have these or you should have just the home and just the login so what we're going to do now is we're going to create discover start and sign up all right so let's go to new and you type in discover now for the alias don't worry about the alias the alias pretty much this is what search engines use to be able to know what that page is about so it's it's really important that you uh, know what you want to put here but if you don't have anything to put there uh, Joomla is automatically going to use whatever the title that you're using is going to become the alias so the alias is used for search engine purposes to know what that page is about and the URL and it's also used when people click on it they can see from that URL to know what that page is about so once you've clicked on that and you've put the discover you want to go to where it says menu item type so you click select go to 
Now we don't have anything at this point. So click on system links. And then you type in external, external URL. And we're going to fix all that later. But right now what we want to do is just to name the menus. So once you've done that, you just put a hashtag. And you click save and new. And Joomla is going to automatically save that and open up a blank canvas for you to add a new menu so let's click start and we're just going to replicate the same process go to smart links external and then replace that and then save a new now with this one we're going to change it so type in sign up and you want to go to select and you want to go to users manager and from here when you see where you see registration form this is going to allow people to register um, to so they can be able to post things on the site so click registration form and then click save and close so right now we currently have just two menus just the home and the login but once we refresh we're going to have more than that. So we have discover, start, sign up, and login. These are all the menus that we need. But I want to take this home off. I don't want this to show on the home page. If you go to Kickstarter, you notice that they don't have a home button. So let's do the same thing here. Let's remove the home button so that it does not show on the site. And to do that, you have to create another menu. So you go to menus. You go to menu manager add new menu and we're going to call this menu hidden menu save and close once you've created that you go back to menus you go to the main menu and all that we're going to do is we're just going to click on home we're going to move this menu so that it does not show on the on the front end of the site the menu is still there but it's not going to be visible for anyone alright so once we've clicked on that you want to go where it says menu location this is where you can move items from one menu to the next so you click on the drop down and you get the hidden menu this is the new one we just created and you want to click on save and close all right, from the save and close, now you can refresh. Let's refresh the home page. And you notice that the home button is no longer there. So now when people come, they can just discover, start, sign up, or log in. So let's click on the sign up button and see what happens. So when you click on the sign up button, it takes you to the section where for someone to be able to sign up. Put in all their information and they can be able to sign up. But this is going to change because we're going to connect it to uh, a different extension later. So we've accomplished our task to be able to create, you know, the new menu and give it the same look and shape as we, you know, want it to be. So now that that has been completed, let's move forward and work on the rest of the site.